All right, thank you, Andrew. Well, heartbreaking and gut-wrenching. An anonymous tip leads Detroit police to a crawl space, hiding the remains of 11 infants. It's terrible discovery made at the site of the old Cantrell funeral home on Mac Avenue. Dremont Terry is reporting from inside that funeral home with the latest on this deeply disturbing investigation. The dumpster outside the former Cantrell funeral home is where trash goes, but Detroit police say the remains of 11 infants were treated just like garbage when their bodies were stuffed hidden in the ceiling. Nine infants were boxed together in a plain cardboard box. Two were in a casket. Simple as that. It's just very disheartening right now. Disheartening and downright disturbing. Detroit police now say an anonymous tip to the state brought investigators here. The building, which operated as a funeral home on East Mac for decades, was in the process of getting renovated into a community center. The new owners opened the door for investigators, and that's when they searched the hidden compartments in the ceiling, making the gruesome discovery. Somebody's have a t had a tag on them re referring back to 2009. Um, some bodies had receipts on them as if the person or family didn't finish paying. Back in April, when the state shut down Cantrell for deplorable conditions and leaving bodies in garages, the owner, Raymond Cantrell, admitted to it. Were you, in fact, storing bodies in the garage? Uh, yes, so that we wouldn't have an aroma filling up the funeral home. But Friday night, over the phone, Mr. Cantrell told me, Did you order or did any of your staff members, were they ordered to hide bodies? My staff? Yes. No, sir. Cantrell took over the family run business in 2017. Within that year, the funeral home lost its license. Cantrell insists the problems were there prior to his arrival. And off the top of my head, sir, all my human remains were found and discovered and transferred by the state of Michigan in April. This appears to be someone who either placed these bodies there or potentially worked here. Is that part of your investigation? Uh, obviously, they had knowledge. You, you're not going to just guess. So whether they're an employee or whether they actually did it, we don't know yet. On behalf of my family, I'm really sorry that that happened. I am totally appalled at the fact that it occurred. Jermont Terry, Local 4.